Brothers and sisters, tonight is the night that I've been looking forward to for quite some time now. There is no other place in the world that I'd rather be than right here in Boston with each and every 264 member that sacrificed. Uh, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be here tonight to honor and celebrate the Local Lodge 264 membership, District 15. Uh, win over the Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority. This uh, victory has been a long, hot uh, victory against privatization where uh, Governor Charlie Baker set out to privatize bus maintenance back three years ago. When Governor Baker got elected in 2015, he used some crazy snowstorms that we had. We used to refer to them as Snowmageddon here in Massachusetts. Uh, he used those snowstorms to try to justify why he needed to get out from under the Taxpayer Protection Act and have an exemption for three years. He promised everybody it wasn't to privatize the T, but it was to actually catch up on a backlog of special projects. As soon as he got the exemption from the legislators, he started going after the unions and trying to privatize the MBTA. It was pretty obvious that it was an ideology battle and had nothing to do with saving money or, or improving the quality of work. Before I became a business agent, I had uh, 18 years as a mechanic. Um, we were the top, top mechanics in the country from breakdowns. I was a uh, machinist. Uh, we, we went around, worked on all the uh, locations, all the bus maintenance garages. I have been here for 28 years, like I said. My son works here. He's vice president of Local Lodge 264. And my uncle Snuffy Massagrea was a business rep for 35 years, retiring in 1995. I started as a mechanic at the MBTA and uh, in 2009 became business rep and uh, left the T then. It was uh, very personal to me. I, I grew up knowing most of, the, uh, most of the mechanics there and very close to all of them. Day in, day out, their commitment and dedication to this effort uh, and the, their words, which was, no way are you going to privatize our jobs today or ever. No way are you going to take away our union contract. You epitomize the fight that was long overdue, and I personally am forever grateful to each and every one of you here tonight. Your story is a story I tell members that I meet with all across North America. I tell them about the Local 264 membership and what is possible when you stand united in solidarity together. Brothers and sisters, that is the way our union is supposed to work because an attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. I think they set the path when these other cities want to privatize and we learned from this campaign how to do it. So I commend each and every one of these members for what they did. They turned around a popular, popular governor. But then I have a big thank you to this international. I want to thank Bob Martinez, Jim, uh, Jimmy Canigliero. It was unbelievable what they, they opened up the book. They said whatever we need, they gave us. I mean, talking to the lawyers, to money, to anything that we needed, they opened it up. It was unbelievable. It was insane. And I want to thank all the members. This was the greatest solidarity fight that I've seen. A fight like this takes a lot out of people. And it, this is almost a two-year battle. These members went through an awful lot. They showed up to work every day not knowing whether they were going to lose their job the next day. They stuck together. They showed the true meaning of what it meant to be a fighting machinist. We had put together a, a long, hard-fought strategy and uh, we are here tonight celebrating solidarity and unity for the membership for winning the privatization battle and protecting 406 jobs. And out of this we've even extended our group at the MBTA by 36, we organized another privatized company. These members here really raised the bar. And I just can't be prouder to be the General Vice President of the Eastern Territory that represents these workers. <laughs>